Elementor 3.8 has begun rolling out, and this time, there are new features that I'm truly excited for, especially one in particular, one that I have been hoping and praying for, and it has finally come, or it is coming to Elementor, and that is the Loop Builder. So many of us Elementor experts, we have been asking for a Loop Builder, and fam, they listen. Now, this has been around for a while with add-ons and third-party uh, plugins for Elementor. They have been referred to as skins. Uh, one popular one was L Custom Skin. There are other add-ons that have this as well, like Jet Engine. But now this is coming baked into Elementor, which means that is one less big plugin that we need to add to our site. And you guys all know how much I love not having to use add-ons. So this is something I was hoping for and I am truly excited for. This is probably the feature I've been most excited for in a very long time coming to Elementor because myself, I create a lot of blogging websites. I blog myself and I create a lot of e-commerce websites as well as listing sites. So this is perfect right here. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do this in Elementor 3.8 to get started. Now there are other big features coming out in 3.8. I got a video coming up next, going through all of them and giving my thoughts and, and honest feelings on them. So make sure to subscribe so that way you get notified when I drop it. And then I also had a meeting this week with the Elementor team. And inside that meeting, we got a bit more of an inside look into what is coming out next as far as being added to the loop builder because a loop builder is getting started as a basic version but then it has some new things being added to it inside its roadmap that and then also the timeline for the 3.8 rollout and how that's going to work so make sure to stick around to the end i'll give you all that information to get started and to show you how the loop builder works we are going to build a post loop right here underneath the latest post so let's first start go back to your dashboard and right here underneath Elementor settings, we will find our loop option underneath experiments. So it's right here. This is the loop. And this came out just today. It is under beta. And right now, to, as far as today, it is only released to the Elementor cloud websites. Those are the websites hosted with Elementor. This is about to be released coming up soon to all other websites. I have more information at the end of the video on that. Now, one thing to note with the loop and the loop builder, it only works with the Flexbox container. So if you have your container inactivated, turned off, and are just using sections and columns, it will not work. But the good news is the container has been moved up to beta, and the Elementor team now is confident and feels good about using containers on live websites. Let's go back to our area where we are going to add our post loop. And if we go here and type in loop, we will see the new widget, which is a loop grid. So let's add that right here underneath latest post. And now we have an option to build our loop right here onto the page. We actually have two options to do this. We could build it right here on the page we're adding it to, or we could go back over here to our theme builder. And here we also have the option to build a loop template. Let's go ahead and do it on the front end because I found while I was testing, this way it was super easy. So I'm gonna click on create a template. Let me save here. And now inside our area right here, we are going to build just one item, one post item. And whatever we want to build, however we want it to look like, we put it inside here. And then what it's going to do, it's going to loop or repeat itself when we save it. So let's start off by adding a featured image. So if I add my featured image right here, just the image widget, but then I select on my dynamic tags. And now get used to using dynamic tags while building this because we are pulling out dynamic elements. Those are the elements like the blog post title or even the listing title or product title if we have a WooCommerce website. Uh, same thing with images and all the dynamic elements. So let's select on dynamic tags, choose featured image, and I'm gonna style this up really quick. I'm just going to make this an even height so the grid looks nice and even. And then I'm going to add a post title right here. So I'm just going to put a title widget, use a dynamic tag, and select on post title. Let me go ahead and just style this up really quick. 
I'm not going to make it look pretty. I just want to show how it looks to, to give you an understanding of how this works. So now I'm going to click on save and go back. And it's going to take us back to our widget in the front. And here we can see our grid went ahead and laid out. Our grid is now active. So we could build this and structure it any way that we like. And we could go through and we could just edit our template. We could put in whatever we want. Let's say I want to put on the top. I want a category tag to put on the top. So let me go here and put in post info. And I'm going to choose terms and then categories because I want to get that category tag. Let me remove that icon and style this up really quickly. All right, there we go. Let me, let's go ahead and tighten up this container really quick. And now I'm just doing this really fast just to show the different options. You could build this any way you like. The thing I love about this is we have full creative freedom now how you want to create your blog post grids, your layouts. It doesn't even have to be a generic grid like this. I mean, think of the possibilities like the sidebar with the list of blog posts like your recently added list where it's just a little tiny image and the title right there. Think of the large feature blog post where it's just a large image and you put the text on top of it. Any way you could imagine, you could build it. All right, let me go ahead and add just a little bit of spacing here. And I'm going to save it, save and go back. And now we're going to see everything updates on here. So this is it. This is our loop builder. We could build our post any way that we like. We could style it up as we like. And once you do have it styled up and you built it, now it's just like our post widget. We could go in here and edit our loop grid. And then we have all the options like what we would have on the post widget. We could choose how many columns that we want. Do we want it to be stacked on one column on a sidebar? Do we want it to be a full out grid? We could choose how many items per page. Then we got full control over the queries as well. Everything is pretty much the same from what I've seen on the post widget. And then we also got the pack nation, which I'm really excited for because before I was using jet engine in order to build my custom loops and my custom post type grids which did not have pack nation and that was a bit frustrating. Now this is a soft launch and right now only the posts are working, but the WooCommerce options are coming up soon. So we are just at the beginning of this and this is just a first look. I do have a very detailed tutorial coming up. I do want to wait until it's a bit more stable and available for everybody because right now it's only on the cloud. But as soon as it's available for everyone, I will have more detailed tutorials and showing how to make all these different types of grids and all these different layouts because the layouts and the possibilities are incredible with it. I love building these kind of websites. For the 3.8 release, there is gonna be a gradual release. Elementor wants to play smart, and I understand why. They wanna make sure sites don't break with another major release. So the way it's gonna go, all the Elementor cloud websites, if you are hosting with Elementor, you are gonna get the first update. That is because Elementor is there hands-on and they're able to help those websites first and fine tune and fix anything that might come up. And then there's gonna be another gradual rollout and their team did confirm to expect a timeline of a full release where everybody has it towards the end of October. And to start off, it's only gonna be looping posts. So they're only focusing on the post first, then next up is going to be coming the WooCommerce so we could loop products and things like that. And then after that, they're going to be adding injections. So the way the injections work, you go ahead and create your loop, you build it, and then you got your grid. But let's say inside one of the spaces like up in here, you want to add a call to action or maybe a Google ad or something like that. You want to put something there and break it up so it's not just post, 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 but maybe post, post, uh, call to action. There are a few other things I'm excited for in 3.8 that are coming out. I got a video coming up next. I'm going to go through each one of those and also other things that are inside the pipeline and to expect in the future with Elementor. So make sure to subscribe. 
That way you get notified when those come out. Plus, I really do appreciate you supporting this channel and I look forward to bringing more content out on Elementor Web Design and the business behind web design. Also, I would like to hear from you. How do you feel about the Loop Builder? Are you guys excited like I am as well? And are there new features that you still are waiting on Elementor to add? Drop those inside the comments. The more noise we make, the more Elementor can listen and hear us making that noise. And then we get the new updates and features that we really want. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you.